so hello everyone so it is my great pleasure and privilege to introduce to all of you dr chaitanya who is a inict ranker 376 in may 25 so welcome dr chaitanya so Hi, sir, i would want sir. to know how are you feeling after the achievement how are you feeling so i'm happy so i'm really very really happy so happy elated excited relieved or a mixture of everything mixture are you mixture. mixture so are you feeling that you got what you expected the rank what you worked for mm, yeah sir half and half more or less okay so still you feel there is potential but you got a good rank so yes, yes. so can you share your journey like how you started and what was your thing which will help your next generation to do better uh, sir so basically i am from the sm medical college uh, i joined the dams uh, pre foundation course uh, and from second year i am attending my online classes or uh, no offline classes in offline i made sure in second year i finished second year in third year since there was covid uh, i attended online classes and even in fourth year i made sure that year subjects that year itself i completed and i had my notes ready and uh, in internship since in my college it was really hectic sir i really couldn't manage time take out time for preparation so i focused more on internship doing work there clinical uh, aspects everything and even my profs i made sure i visited clinic even if most of the time uh, we had lockdown in third and fourth year but how much ever possible i thought internship was the right time to see all the clinical aspects of it so i made sure and uh, if even if i can't prepare well whatever i'm doing i'll do it really well and uh, whatever i'm seeing around i learn properly in internship uh, probably i won't get that chance again so post internship uh, in may 2023 i actually uh, started my journey from june or june end sir and i i had my notes ready itself that the time itself and after from my notes what i did was i had tnd also su subscribed under dams thing so i read my notes which were concepts i learned i made sure i went to back the basic videos and come back and read again and i attended tnd classes and i, I did pyq sir uh, this is what i did post internship and almost around in october i had finished around 12 to 14 subjects that's it sir i really took long time to complete one reading and i gave my first attempt of ini number 2023 and uh, before ini i made sure i attended the, all the uh, dams pyt sessions even though if i have not completed my 14 subjects but i i ended up with rank of 800 in november of my first attempt itself uh, but i realized i had to finish all my 19 subjects only then i would get a great rank i would push myself ahead so in december i made sure i completed what the, all my pending subjects and it was going on well and in feb actually uh, i had to undergo like i was under serious health issues so i had to go, undergo a lot of uh, health problems i really couldn't concentrate uh, much on my studies it was hardly 15 minutes a day just did how much ever i could um, it was a really tough time for me and my family um, so con couldn't concentrate uh, at that time health was my priority after feb sir and uh, after feb uh, almost 4 to 5 months it just went nil i couldn't really focus um, i was under medications i was drowsy most of the, most times of the day so after this i did give my neat and in neat i got around 3k sir so with that i could get my clinical seat but i felt it was not my best attempt so my parents did support me in this they saw me struggle for the 4 to 5 months before neat they saw me what my health condition was they reconsidered i'm very grateful to god that i have such parents that they have helped me take another attempt after yeah. those needs and uh, health was the most primary uh, importance at that point of time uh, it i would get a good clinical seat but uh, it uh, it would be a chances that it would progress worse in after i join my residency with that rank so i thought of uh, uh, focusing on health health was a major and we started your studies but uh, here we must make a note and you know tell your juniors that it is heartwarming to see a doctor who wants to become a doctor like learn clinical aspects visit patients interact with them because that joy i think is so therapeutic in itself you know we all started off the journey to become a good doctor and main point of being a doctor is the patient interaction and the smile on the patient's face after they feel better is something which is more gratifying and more encouraging than any 
test score. Right? So I'm happy that you, you know, resorted to that. You did your internship well, which I think should be the, you know, very strong message to the juniors that you must give adequate time to the skills as and when they come because internship only comes once you know yeah. so just missing it for sake of getting a good rank may have some fallouts in future so you did that and you took your time in spite of struggles you you know sort of had the conviction and of course no doubt the support of your family friends is always vital even in the best of times in tough times it just becomes golden and uh, then you worked on so in this work also like did you have any like specific structure that you had some hours or you did rotation of subject like many students ask me so how to keep out of monotony no bore ho jate that did the same topic so how did you manage that rotate subject what kind of thing did you try so after need i did join a clinic nearby my home and after visiting whatever case i saw i made sure i came and read about it and be more accurate next day towards the patient and uh, if i'm suppose reading medicine i made sure i connect with patho and pharma also i'm taking a sub- particular uh, system i made sure i connect and uh, i made sure uh, all the volatile subjects i would revise every day in the morning like biochem pharma like f- just five drugs or just uh, yeah. a few cycles just flip to notes quickly in the last before attending the it's, a, it's very surprising that this has been a very common thread uh, told by many students that uh, you all have now caught up the art of integrating subjects rather than reading one subject alone and also this uh, method is very interesting i heard from other students also so this rule of five seems to be you know five drugs yes, five yes. tests <laughs> five patients so to keep the monotony away. great great yeah and what else did you do some Every quizzes like small efforts yes sir yeah. i would uh, regularly attend telegram quizzes of all the faculty especially okay. deepthi ma'am sir a big big shout out to her i just love her i, I admire her a lot the she yeah. takes responsibility of each and every sir uh, each and Absolutely. every cl- in a class everywhere she makes sure she's uh, she sticks to her schedule she makes sure she give uh, topics to cover like if your if your main subject is something else even then ma'am gives topics in her telegram group and you just need to read that topic and come and attend the quiz and she makes sure she she gives the answer also so that was a huge help. i i i need not revise obj at all sir like it was just yeah. stuck in my mind because of her and even sumesh sir uh, psm sid sir amazing yes. telegram quizzes sir. they're very connected Yeah. so these quizzes really keep you going and you know connected yes, to the subject yes yes so all these and what about the last minute resources like how much did they add to your score you felt the preparation dvts and the pyt sessions yes sir dvt and pyt was a major rank booster even in my first attempt of me uh, i nice sir now about my three i for the subjects i didn't do dvt and pyt were my only sources after that i made sure i attended tnd or as well and whatever extra points i got i added to the dvt notes itself like i had one single dvt one fat book that's it and all 19 subjects there for the last 3 to 4 days and i made sure i read it again and again in the morning my main main notes was different my dvt book was different so every day i made sure i flip pages from that book and uh, i continued the cycle that way like post intern So now that you have read all 19 subjects, what is your future entail? What are the branches that you are inclined towards to pursue? Sir, I'm uh, I'm really confused between pediatrics and uh, OBC, sir. So okay. So I'm sure Dipti Madam has been a strong inspiration. So OBC wise, yes, sir, yes, sir, definitely. <laughs> So I think you know, like this, if it continues, we'll have many obstetricians coming up. Sure, so, yes, sir. So always, you know, the, having a role model is a big uh, part of choosing and liking a subject. Other than, of course, what the patient care entails. So that's a very odd choice, but a good choice that you have both mm-hmm. medical and surgical specialities in your view. What about PSM? Is that also in? No, so, sir. No. All- <laughs> Or, that yeah. subject was just palatable because of kashi sir and uh, psm sir sir otherwise i would just hate that subject even in my profs so you like the subject but still you that desire for patient interaction keeps you clinical maybe yeah. yes sir okay so definitely after all these success we want to definitely share you know who were your pillars of support your family if anyone is there we would like to meet them 
you know congratulate yeah. them also your mom parents yeah. you can call them Yes, hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. So, congratulations to you. So, Thank very, you, very great. Yeah. See, whatever it is, it takes a. You no know, students today are under lot of pressure. You know, lot of stress, and the family support is like a priceless thing for them at this time. So it's. Uh, she, <laughs> yes. So she is very, very happy that uh, you know she is able to perform to her potential. and i think all swell that ends well so you know you are in a good place so finally you know nowadays uh, what is her message and for you to the students and from mom to other moms in kannada what is your message to all the juniors residents what would you like to say sir nothing much sir just don't give up any circumstance any situation do whatever you can as much as you can and uh, one day we a door will open soon maybe 100 doors are closed but one door is definitely open for you don't give up don't settle for less uh, you know you're the best and yourself is the most yourself keep yourself as a priority health is a priority and uh, just focus on your basics focus on uh, dvt pyq in the last and yeah that's it amazing amazing talking to you dr chaitanya so all the very best and i hope to see you on the other side as colleagues and uh, yes. see you in the future chalo all the Thank best you.